Okay, so just um, continuing on from the last um, last little bit where um, this was what we produced. The sprite has an initial velocity of um, increasing y, so it goes straight down, and then we did a check bounds which just reverses the velocity, and we did that in our code. Um, here, which was check bounds. Now the the issue is that it will, doesn't check the top bounds and it doesn't check left and right bounds. Um, to and also, um, I don't like the canvas right flush with this, so I'm going to fix that up first. So we can look at our styles main.css and we can just say canvas and we can just add padding. Uh, left and 100 pixels and that will should move it across a little bit um, so it's moving up so to sort out the check bounds so we've already done this um, so we can just duplicate these lines so if the sprite position is and because it's now going up we can go less than and equal to zero and we can see that here like so if the sprite um, is moving up and down so y is zero and it increases down to the height so it's increasing down and hits there and then it reverses goes up and then if it gets to less than zero or equal to zero we want to reverse it again so we just do exactly the same there and same thing is we can do with the x position um, we can just change x x x and we haven't got any x movement so how are we going to get x movement well what we're going to do is we're actually going to introduce some um, how to um, use keyboard controls so we've got this function mouse press. We're going to do a similar function called um, key pressed. So function is key pressed. And in key pressed, all we're going to do is like, we're going to say if we've got a um, key code, which is a uh, P5 variable, and it's equal to something, we're going to um, adjust the speed or velocity of um, our sprite. Now we're using velocities but we don't want to have to sit there and calculate angles and set x velocity, y velocity so we're going to use a slightly different um, function to set its movement. So we're going to say if open bracket key code is equal to right arrow so these are um, variables provided by P5 for us, we're going to say sprite dot set speed. Now it's to the right, so we've kind of got this velocity of 0 0.5. So I'm going to actually, instead of having to change, type this manually all the time, I'm going to go var um, speed and I'm going to set it to 0 0.5 and then every time I want to um, change the velocity or speed sorry I was just copying that and pasting that um, I can actually use that set the speed to speed and we need a direction um, and our directions are um, and where's my draw? So that way is zero, and we rotate round the um, we rotate round the compass. So we go around sort of the compass like that. So you can imagine that way is ninety. That way is 180 and that way is 270 so just degrees in a circle 
So to do that, um, so if we're going right, so we've done the right arrow, so the direction would be zero. So continuing on, if, uh, well, well, we'll do it else if key um, code is equal to uh, down arrow. Uh, so down arrow, we sort of we're going to go round the circle. So we're going to just duplicate that. So sprite dot set speed it to speed speed and it's ninety. Else, and we're going to do the same one. Else, if key code is equal to up. Um, left arrow, down, left, so we're just going round that circle, uh, left arrow, sprite dot set speed, speed, and it's 180, and let's set speed, uh, set speed, 180, and the last one, else if key code is equal to up arrow, we we'll say sprite dot set speed, and we're going to set speed to speed and to seventy. And I'm going to say else if key code is equal to a space, ooh, that's interesting, um, sprite.speed, uh, we're going to say is zero, and direction will be zero. So we're going to stop. Now, we can also, like, so if we want to use the WASD, we can actually say, or key uh, code is equal to W uh, down would be or key code is equal to S. Now I'm going to leave the other ones not there. We've got space um, and we're going to return false out of this key press function. Um, so the, the only difference is we've added this function in. We're going to do some mouse keys. But let's tell the, um, let's put this information onto, um, let's put this information onto the background. So we're going to say, um, are we going to say that? No, we'll do that in the next one. Um, let's have a look at what we've got so far. So this is a nice quick one. Um, so look at the live preview. So it's doing that. I click in there and I should be able to move it and I should be able to move and it, oh, why is it not bouncing? So let's, is it bouncing? It's bouncing that way, bouncing that way. Did I put the bounce left and right in? No, oh, and, and let's check that way. So it's not bouncing on the X at all. So let's check that and stop it with space. So space is not is um, not working. So let's work out why. So back to our code. So um, so we're checking bounds. So we're not we're setting the speed. We're not actually changing the velocity. So we might actually just say when the key is pressed, sprite.set or velocity.x equals zero, sprite.velocity.y equals zero. So we're stopping the velocity. Velocity is continuing movement, whereas the speed will do that. Um, so we're negating that. So if the sprite position is dot x is greater than or equal to 500, where the sprite velocity x 
So we're never actually changing sprite velocity. So if we let's think about that we're changing the speed but not actual velocity. So that's one of the disadvantages of using a couple of different ways of setting the speed and using the velocity. Now, just to show you, if I change that, if the position there, I'm just going to say um, sprite dot set speed speed, and I know that I'm heading this way, so what? Um, no, um, yep, I'm heading. X is going to be greater than 500, so I want to change the direction to 180. And this way, I'm going to say sprite dot set speed speed comma, and this is going the other way, so it's going to be zero. Now, because we're changing it to a speed rather than a velocity, we are going to actually have to change these. Um, when you would use velocity is if when you're starting to do sort of the diagonal movements and you're like firing bullets and um, things like that. For sprite movement, speed um, and position are the, probably the easier to get your head around because you're just sending it in an angle direction. It does all the velocity calculations for you. But it is important to know how to set the velocity. So sprite dot speed and we're going to say speed and because we're going it's greater than so we're going down so that's 90 so we need to change it to 70 and this one here and I'm just commenting these out so that um, people can see these sprite dot speed uh, set speed speed Comma, and this will be, uh, so it's going up, so we want it to move down, which is 90. And this is set speed. Okay, so let's have a look at that back in our game. So we've got bounce there. Not bouncing there again. And just pausing. So one of the one of the issues um, that we had was when we copied duplicate the code, we were doing greater than and we never did the um, so if it's greater than five hundred, we want to send it back to one eighty and if it's less than or equal to zero we want to set the speed. Um, less than, yeah, we want to set the speed to zero. So that should fix up our issue with it bouncing. And so that there you go. Um, let's change the speed to make it a bit quicker. So that it's, so we just need to change that number there, and it's much quicker there. So you can do lots of different things like that. You could, um, instead of bouncing it, you could set a random direction. Um, so it would actually um, bounce off the, like, so this angle would actually be a random direction. Um, and if it's um, this way, the angle would have to be between and we'll go back to our drawing. If it's coming this way, the angle would have to be between 0 and, uh, well, it, have, it can't be sort of going that way. It has to be going back that way. So, or we could change it to 90 degrees. But a random, a random angle between 90 and 270. And so that's if it's going that way. So let's see if we can do that. So um, P5 actually has a random function, so we can sort of say um, we've got we've got two ra uh, random angle. So if the position is going is greater than or equal to 500, 
back over here. So it's coming down. We want the random angle to be between 0. So we want it to be that way. And we don't, well, we want it, actually want it to be, we don't want it to be 0 to there. We want it 180 all the way around to 259. Because 260 is 0. So we can't really say 0. We could say 360. So what we're going to say is we want um, var ang um, random angle equals, and we just say random, and we provide a minimum value, and a minimum value is 180, and a maximum value will be 360. So that will produce a random angle. So we can substitute that in there, and we can do that for each one. And we just need to work out the um, different angles that we're going to choose. So coming, if it's coming up, so we want it to reflect back that way, so it's going to be 0 to 180. So var random angle equals random 0 to 180, and we put the random angle in there. And then this one here, um, it's the x position, x position going this way. So we want it between 90 and 270. So var random angle equals random between um, 90 and 270. And the last one, uh, Last one is, we need to set the random angle there. And last one is ra uh, random angle, random number between, and if it's coming across this way, it's between, um, so it's going this way. So it's, this one's a little bit tricky because we go zero, but because um, of how it works, we can actually say this is 270 plus 90, which is 360, and we can actually say 360 plus 90, so we can say 450, so 270 and 450. And P5 will actually work that out for us as a rent, as an angle. So let's have a look at that. Back over here, and it should just bounce random angles all over the place. Right, let's just make sure. Um, let's, so it sort of does it there, and it does it there. So that is a bit of keyboard movement. We still have keyboard movement. We can stop it, we can start it, and we can have sort of random angles. random angles bouncing. So, um, and the, those can be pretty much anything. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, so that's quite um, just the second demo for P5.